Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to be doing Peruvian chicken with an uh, ají verde sauce. Now, I hope I'm pronouncing some of these ingredients correctly because I had to order some of the ingredients off of Amazon to try to make an authentic um, Peruvian marinade for the chicken. And uh, so for all you uh, speech experts out there, if I mispronounce some of these uh, words, then uh, hey, let me know in, my, in the comments block down there and I'll definitely try to do better next time. Uh, but what we have here is the is three of the main ingredients that I had to order off of Amazon. And uh, one of them is called uh, Yucate Black Mint. And the other one, another one is called Ahi Panca, Panca Pepper. And the last one is called Ahi Amarillo. It's the yellow hot pepper, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be incorporating all of these into a, our food processor here. And we're gonna be making our marinade. Now I have a, a whole chicken in the refrigerator. And uh, once we get our marinade made, we'll pour this across our chicken and we'll let it marinate overnight. And then we're going to be cooking it on the uh, Weber kettle grill using the uh, slow and sear from Adrenaline Barbecue. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this uh, started. All right, so the first thing, and I'm gonna have to read off this list because there's a ton of ingredients here, okay? So um, the first thing we're gonna put in here is uh, two tablespoons of soy sauce, all right? And then we're gonna put the juice of two limes. And then we have five cloves of garlic. Get out of there. And then we have one teaspoon of fresh ginger. Left the ginger in the refrigerator. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Had to run upstairs and get my tube of fresh ginger. So we want one teaspoon of fresh ginger, like so. All right, then it says one fourth cup of dark beer. So we're using a Guinness Stout Dark Beer. I'm glad it's just one fourth cup because that leaves the rest of the bottle for the old smoke master. Mm. All right, so one fourth cup of dark beer. All right. And then we have one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. We have one teaspoon of uh, balsamic vinaigrette. Okay, actually that was the soy sauce. The balsamic vinaigrette went in first. I thought the quantities look a little off, okay. All right, so now we got one tablespoon of, if I'm pronouncing it right, cucate paste. Okay, so this is a very strong, it's a green paste. So we'll get one tablespoon out of here. Toss that in there like that. All right. And then we want some of the panka paste. So we'll get one tablespoon of that. And we'll toss that in there also. All right. Okay, the next thing we need is uh, ground cumin. So we got one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin. And then we got one fourth teaspoon, I'm sorry, one teaspoon of dry oregano, one teaspoon of dry rosemary, one teaspoon of Salt. Now, I don't use table salt in my recipes. I either use kosher salt or sea salt. This is sea salt right here because uh, I can control the salt. You can always add salt to a recipe uh, or to a dish, but you can never take it out, okay? We got one half teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, and we have one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, okay? All right. So we're gonna blend this up and then I'll go and get the chicken 
and we'll marinate it, okay? All right, guys, so I have my uh, chicken here. Now, this is a, a young chicken, and it, this weighs about, about three and a half pounds, and I've spatchcocked it. You can't see that in the bag here, but I've spatchcocked it uh, just so we can spread it out on the grill and get some uh, good even cooking. Let me wipe down my counter right quick. All right, so let's go ahead and get our marinade out of the processor now ooh, that smells pretty good got a nice nice strong uh, I can't even describe it to be honest with you but again I have never had Peruvian chicken on not that I can remember so I'm definitely interested in seeing how this tastes okay so we got our Ziploc bag we got a one gallon Ziploc bag we're gonna just pour our marinade in over our chicken like so and we're going to get as much air out of the bag as we can. Zip it up real tight. And we're going to move this around so that everything gets covered inside and out. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put this in this Tupperware so we can put it in the refrigerator just in case it pops a leak. The wife won't be fussing that I have. Peruvian marinade all over her eggs. So, <laughs> all right, so we're gonna put this in the refrigerator. We're gonna marinate this overnight and then we will come back tomorrow and we'll show you the final cook. The uh, aji verde sauce we're gonna make while the chicken is on the grill tomorrow. So I will show you that. And that uses this uh, aji amarillo according to the recipe I found. So, hey, don't go nowhere. guys so we've been out it's been on the uh, cooker for about two hours now we've reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees so uh, let's go ahead and see what this old bird looks like all right so she's looking pretty good guys she uh, got a real dark color to her I think it's because I put uh, the paprika and stuff on there plus we have the the um, used the peach wood so got a real nice color to her. Let's go ahead and pull her out. All right guys, so you see it's got a nice dark color to it. It looks like it's got a lot of juice. We're gonna go ahead and let this bird rest for about 
uh, 20 to 30 minutes and uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and cut into it and we'll go ahead and give you a taste test so hey hang around all right guys so we're finished with our cook uh, I let the chicken rest under some aluminum foil after it came off of the Weber for about 30 minutes or so and uh, so I'm gonna give you a close-up look at this bird so as you can see it's got a nice mahogany color to it it's, uh, you can tell it's got, it's kind of juicy, got some juice running out from underneath it. I'm just hoping the breast stay juicy. Uh, some of the areas got a little bit dark. What I would do next time is probably put a little foil on the wing tips the next time I'm smoking chicken in order to allow them to uh, not get so dark. Once, I, once they reach the color I'm looking for, then I would probably just foil the, the tips. But let's go ahead and, uh, and have a taste test. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and, and cut into this. And like I said, hopefully, I can see a lot of juice underneath the bird. I just hope the breast is juicy. Now, let me give you one caveat. I know originally on the first day when we did the marinade for this chicken, I said I was gonna let it marinate just overnight or 24 hours. But due to circumstances beyond my control, I wasn't able to cook this bird yesterday. So uh, to be honest, this bird has marinated for almost 48 hours. So if nothing else, it should be full of, oh, there go the Thunderbirds just passed over. So if nothing else, then these, this bird should be full of flavor. So let's go ahead and cut into this, all right? Yeah, now I do see some juices flowing right there from the breast, so. So, see what we got here. Got a fabulous smoke smell. Now, like the wood that we used for this cook was peach wood. I ordered two boxes of, of wood chunks off of Amazon. One of peach chunks and the other one was um, navel orange uh, wood chunks. So, if you're interested in different woods for your smoker, check out Amazon. All right. Great smoke flavor. Great peppery smell. All right, let's have a taste. Man, I am definitely thrilled with this flavor here. I mean flavor through and through. It's almost as if it had been somewhat brined, I guess, as it marinated for 48 hours, but the flavors are fantastic. Got a little, uh, it tastes a little citrusy, uh, but the depth of flavor is very, very good, man. You got the pepper, I can taste the smoke. Um, it just uh, wow it's a fabulous cook i've never had peruvian chicken before but i am loving this flavor this is very very good so hey if you never had peruvian chicken before this is definitely one you might want to try you could rotisserie it you can cook it whole we spatch cocked it um, just so we can uh, implement some even cooking you don't have to do it on the smoker you can do it in your oven Set your oven for 250 degrees and then smoke it until the internal temperature of your chicken is uh, 165 degrees or so. But this is fantastic. Um, the only thing that you won't get if you cook it in the oven is the smoke flavor. So, But, well, th that's all we have time for today. And I am definitely anxious to dig into this, this chicken. This chicken is a fantastic flavor. And the breast is very, very moist. I mean, it's liquid all on all the breast. Mm. Wow. This is gonna be some good eats. So if you got a Weber kettle out there uh, and you wanna get some accessories for it, uh, check out Adrenaline Barbecue Company. Check out their Slow and Sear and their Drip and Griddle. Fantastic products. Uh, they'll definitely help you to maintain a constant temperature throughout your cook, okay? Well, that's all we have time for today. Like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire, and if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Mm. Not bad. Never had this white IPA from Blue Moon before. Not too bad. Got a little bite to it, but all in all, good beer. Hey, see you guys around the smoker.